Search engines are the largest source of traffic for most small websites. That is why it is essential to make sure that they can easily find your website and also rank your web pages. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to submit your website to search engines. I will specifically show you how to submit your website to Google. This is the very website we are going to submit to search engines. If you are new to this channel, this is a website I've created for Amazon affiliate marketing. And I have a complete tutorial as to how you can create this website. I will link it up in the description down below so that you can go ahead and check it out. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. Now when you create a new website, search engines will automatically find them and index them. However, this will take time for you to get there. So if you want to get there faster, you may want to consider submitting your website to search engines manually. And that is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. With this submission, there are two ways you can do that. You can create an account on Google Search Console in order to add your website manually, or you can use a plugin that is if your website is built on WordPress. I'm going to use a plugin. So to get started, I go over to the back end of my website by clicking on dashboard. Next, I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins, I search for rank map. I have rank map SEO here. Rank map SEO is an SEO plugin that you can use to optimize your WordPress blog post. So apart from using this plugin to submit your website to Google, you can also use it to optimize your WordPress blog post. It is already installed. If it is not installed, you see a button like this beside it that is installed now. If you really follow the first video on how to create this website, you wouldn't need to install this plugin because it was already installed on the website. So we just go ahead and click on activate. The plugin is activated successfully and you see it on top right here as well as at the sidebar menu. Next, we go ahead and click on setup wizard in order to set up the plugin or we can go over to rank mat here and click on dashboard. From here, we click on setup wizard and it will take us to the setup wizard dashboard. In here, you make sure that advanced is selected. Going down, we click on start wizard. Here, you need to select what your website is about. Since our website is a blog website, we leave it as it is. Next is the name of the website, which is already set. But if you want a different name, you can go ahead and type it in here. This is the name that will appear on search results. Next is name of organization. Whatever text you have here, make sure you take it off and you enter the name of your website. Going down, here we go ahead and add a logo which will also appear in search results. If I click on add. If you don't have your logo in your media library, you can go ahead and click on select files which will open up a folder where you can upload your image. I already have my logo in my media library. So I click on media library. I have it right here. I select it. Then I click on use this file. Going down, you can also add a default social media image that is if you make a blog post and you don't have a featured image for it, this is the image that will show when you share the post on social media. Maybe I can just choose something for now. Maybe this one. Use this. Going down, I click on save and continue. Next, we go ahead and connect RankMark to Google services. So we click on connect your RankMark account. If you don't have an account on RankMark, you can easily click on register now to create a new account. It's very easy to do. If you already have an account, you can just use your email and password to log in if that was what you use in creating your account. Or you can use any of these platforms to log into your RankMath account. And that is what I'm going to do. First of all, I make sure I accept the terms and I'm going to go ahead and use Google. So I click on it. Next, I'll be asked to sign into the particular Google account I want to use. I use this one. Now I've logged into RankMath. I just go ahead and click on OK, activate now. Here you want to grant rank math access to your Google account. So you click on continue and it will take you back to the setup wizard. As you can see, search console is already enabled for us and it will be created automatically for us. In here, you make sure that your website is already selected. Going down, we don't do any other thing. Just go ahead and click on save and continue. Next is sitemap. 
in here you need to make sure that everything is enabled then you go ahead and click on save and continue next we have seo twist make sure everything is enabled then you go ahead and click on save and continue and now your website is ready going down you can either return to the dashboard or you can set up advanced options let's go ahead and do that from here we don't really do anything however i make sure everything is selected for administrator right here going down you click on save and continue next you need to make sure that 404 monitor is enabled this will give you the opportunity to determine if users of your website have open links that are not existing on your website going down we click on save and continue we don't do anything here just scroll down and click on save and continue and now the plugin has been set up going down to local seo make sure it is enabled perfect if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue now that our plugin has been set up next thing we want to do is submit our website to google search console to do that we open a new tab then we go ahead and search for google search console hit enter we go ahead and click on the first link that is search.google.com from here we click on start now before you, before you click on start now you need to make sure that you are logged into your google account and the search property we drop down the arrow this is the website i've just submitted i click on it at the moment you see that we don't have any analytics going on next thing we want to do is go over to site maps and you see that our site map is already added if it's not added by default what you need to do is go back to the dashboard of your website then you go over to site map settings and right here you will find your site map link just go ahead and copy it then go back to google search console then you go ahead and paste it in here then you click on submit you are only going to be doing this when it is not submitted you see that site map is submitted successfully then you click on got it awesome so if you want to monitor the performance of your website you can always come to performance and you see all the data regarding the visibility of your website at the moment it has indicated processing data this may take up to 24 hours before you can start to see some analytics here we can exit out of here now if we go over to the dashboard of our website you see that we have this widget right here let me exit from here for now you see that we have this widget right here which will show us the analytics on our website visit to show us the total impressions total clicks total keywords being searched for average position and the rest and it will always show analytics for the last 30 days so that's it on how to submit our website to search engines all right guys i hope you found value in today's video if you did kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you will be the first to know keep watching and i will see you in the next one